Well, in continuing with the long list of failures by woke liberal SJW Disney, they are continuing to lose to Universal Studios uh, Orlando in terms of theme park attendance. Plain and simple. And, you know, part of the reason why is because Universal actually prioritizes entertaining instead of just being the propaganda arm for all the blue-haired feminist woke SJW weirdos on Twitter. But in the articles is on Inside the Magic. It says, Universal, Universal Orlando beat Walt Disney World in this one area. Inside the Magic has been reporting on the ongoing fight between Disney and Universal for the title of Best Theme Park. But Universal is clearly winning that particular uh, little conflict. In the article it says, Universal has been fighting to earn the number one spot announcing several massive upcoming projects around the country while simultaneously opening a new opening a new land in Hollywood and, and working on an expansion in Orlando. They've also made several movies in an effort to support their employees as news of Disney's struggle with cast member unions has been making headlines. Yeah. And regardless mass firing of, of employees, you know, hopefully it's a step in the right direction to try to purge the problematic elements mainly the, the woke SJW activists who managed to pass off as employees. But in the article it says, Recently Universal Orlando has taken another jab at Disney World in a post on Twitter joking about Disney's requirement for theme park reservations, saying reservations? Uh, where we're going, we don't need reservations. Yeah, whoever's running their social media account for Universal, they need to get a raise because they are amazing. Uh, Disney's current operational method requires uh, guests not only have a valid theme park ticket, but they all, must also make a reservation for their desired park for each day of their vacation. This system must uh, be sorry must be in place since the parks have reopened after the 2020 pandemic and has been wildly unpopular. Yeah, no kidding. The system also enforces uh, that guests that any guests wind up the park hop must wait until after 2 p.m. and must check into the park they made the reservation before uh, being able to enter. It is a confusing, often annoying system which has many fans asking why it is still being implemented even as our parks return to mostly normal. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's it's a bunch of uh, it's it's a bad business decision to say the least because you're just going to push away more fans with your weird reservations. Like, like why do you need reservations? Kind of weird, but in the article it says. A quote, a quote tweet from the original post by Universal or uh, mocks the park saying, Props to Universal's social media team for having the balls to admit that their parks aren't popular enough to need reservations. A plus work. Uh, no no, uh, no notes. However, as one t Twitter user pointed out, since opening Super Nintendo World in February, Universal Studios Hollywood has been sold out every weekend. Another user posted attendance statistics, pointing out that both Universal Orlando parks have higher attendance numbers, ha sorry, had higher attendance numbers in 2021 than three of the four Walt Disney World parks. Yep, uh, seems that Disney World is no longer on top, and they're just beating them by one park. Gotta love that. You know, again, this is kind of a result of Universal just prioritizing actual, you know, just kid-friendly stuff instead of trying to prioritize propaganda, woke SJW liberal propaganda under the guise of entertainment. That's the truth of the matter. So, you know, woke SJW Disney, they can keep failing and losing money until they actually get it. You know, that's the truth of the matter. So anyway, wanted to point that out. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.